Hello, welcome to Naresh Technologies. In this video session, we are going to discuss about how do we implement bootstrap in MVC views. In ASP.NET MVC UI, while working with the views, we will see a simple example, how do we install and integrate bootstrap to make the user interface more interactive. So, first step, we will see how do we create a view and uh, let us add a controller here. Uh, it is an uh, empty controller by name home. Yeah. So, in this uh, home controller, I have uh, an action called uh, login. Let us make this action as view result, fine and add a view. I am adding an empty view and while adding the view, I am not selecting any layout for the view, I am not choosing any layout for the view. So, why because we a layout comes with predefined styles and effects, we want to create our own effects with bootstrap that is the reason I am not choosing a layout for the view and uh, it is an empty view. So, we just added a plain empty view for login action. So, with an intention to design a login screen here. So, I will first design a login screen here. What are the basic requirements for a login screen? So, I will design a form uh, with a heading. So, login here, okay. And I will use a div <coughs> here inside the div. I will define a label, and uh, this label will set any user name as text and uh, we will design another div, a container inside this and this is for a text box input type text and uh, we will uh, define a name as txt name. I want this label to be used for this text box then label for, so the text box txt name fine and this name can have validations. Later we will discuss about validations, but it can have some validation error messages to display. Then I will put a span and here I just put some messages like uh, name required, name required. Yeah. So, similarly I will add another container div. So, in it a label and this label will uh, define password and uh, another div container. So, here we have input type as a password and name txt password and uh, this text box is going to be for uh, label is going to be for txt password fine. And uh, password can have some error messages like uh, span, so invalid password. How do we handle the error messages and uh, errors that we have to discuss in a separate session? Here our intention is just presentation, how we can present. Now I will add another container below this password and uh, I just put a button, let us say login. Now, initially I will run this. Now, this login screen is designed without any layout or without any effects. So, it looks very normal and plain. So, when we are designing UI for our application, we want it more interactive. So, we will see how we can implement bootstrap and make this more interactive. So, we are not completely learning about bootstrap here. This is a concept to just integrate bootstrap and use for our presentations to make them interactive. So, if you have good knowledge of bootstrap, you can make the presentation better. So, when you are working with the UI. So, in this login screen, 
initially we designed a login screen without any effects into it, it is just plain HTML. You can see this is a general login screen without much effects here. So now our intention is to make this presentation more interactive. Let us see how we can do that. So first step, I will uh, install bootstrap for the project. So go to the references and uh, manage NuGet packages and uh, browse for bootstrap. You can get the bootstrap from NuGet package manager, select bootstrap and uh, let us install the bootstrap version 3. 3.7 is the bootstrap version and I am installing because bootstrap 4 has some changes. If you are aware of the new changes happened in the bootstrap you can implement and use. Here I am using the traditional 3.7 stable release. I am installing bootstrap ok. Now once the bootstrap is added into your project installed and you can see in the solution, you will find a content folder that contains bootstrap CSS files and uh, a scripts folder that contains bootstrap script files. So a fonts which contains bootstrap related fonts. So three folders are added into our project content, fonts and uh, scripts. So in order to implement styles, we need the CSS, bootstrap CSS. What we will do now here see let us uh, run this. Initially I am not implementing bootstrap, I just installed bootstrap and uh, first I will show you the look of our login screen without bootstrap how it looks like. Earlier we have just uh, executed it and uh, saw the output how it looks like. Now I will keep this UI and uh, let us integrate some bootstrap effects and see what we can do with bootstrap. Now this is the login screen we are having. Let us go into the source HTML and in the head section I am linking the bootstrap style sheet link relation is equal to style sheet link href is equal to it is from content folder in the content we have bootstrap core file that is bootstrap CSS. Okay, after including the bootstrap, you can just verify the output refresh and see. You can see some changes happened in the font styles. Okay, now to make it more better, let us go into the body section and the div that contains the form, I am defining a class called container, which is a class used for holding the contents of a form. Form have several bootstrap effects, you can use them a container just to block that entire area, ok. Now with the container class you can see some change happened in the alignment of the content, ok. Next the div that contains the div that comprises of a category of username, label and text box. For this div I will give a class called form group and uh, the same I have to define as form group for every category. So I will use a class called form group, form group for this and for button means username one group, password another group and button also uses uh, a div uses form group, form group and you can see that the form group will make a vertical alignment perfect between those elements, fine. Next for the label that is being displayed here, I will put a class here for label we have a class called control label and we will add a class call SM3, call SM, SM3. So which is used for indenting the labels from left margin. So I will use this class, so control label for this uh, password also same. And call SM3 I will use for the div where the text box is displayed. That means here I am using a class. So call SM3, 3, okay. And the same class for the password field here. So class as a call SM3, SM3, okay. 
and the same for the button you are having. So, call SM3, fine. Now, you can see here some change happened in the indentation of those elements. Okay. Next step is uh, we will define an effect for the text box as uh, text box will have a class form control. I can use the same class for the password field as a uh, form control, form control and you can see the text box appearance will be changed like this. So, the text box have an effect so with these rounded rectangles and the button we are going to display here. I will use a class for the button as btn, button have a class called btn lg, it is a large button and uh, we have a button class called uh, btn, uh, btn block, okay, btn block, okay and uh, we have a button class btn primary, primary, okay. You can see this gives an appearance for the button, the button and wherever the error messages are being displayed. So, error messages are the span usually use a class called text danger and we can use the class text danger, text danger. So, for the contents here so that it will be displayed in red color. And if you want to highlight the entire category that is having errors, then what you can do is the form group can be defined with, with a class called has error. This you can dynamically control, has error will highlight that entire group, the label, the text box and the, so wherever the error is there. So, by using bootstrap you can make the presentation more interactive way. So, this is a simple point of implementing bootstrap into our application. In later stages, we will use in various occasions this bootstrap. Thank you.